you have one more product that I'm kind of excited about. Yeah. And that's your your needles, your yeah. new needles. So we just got two configurations stocked on the store. Mm-hmm. I stocked your single, and I think the five shader yeah. is and what then, we stocked. Uh, Next month, uh, I'm going to be launching the PMU line. So The PMU line, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I know there's something. This is what the needles look like. You picked um, like a really cool gold color. Is that your, is that your logo color? It started out as uh, black and gold. The quill's a bird, right? right. I had a, no, no, the quill is a feather. The right? quill's a feather, okay. So the rook is the bird. The rook, oh, the rook is a bird. Right. The quill's a feather. Okay, because I had yeah, to ask you. I didn't so, know, yeah, I didn't know yeah, what a rook uh, was. <laughs> like it turned into this crazy. I originally named my company Rook because it was a four-letter word that was easy to say. Okay. The same in just about every language. Right. And I can draw a blackbird like nobody's business. Okay. So if I got to do like some advertising, bam, blackbird. There you go. Okay. Right. All right. And then I ended up with this whole like <sighs> bird thing theme. Like going. you just went, you just ran with it. Well, it's feathers just, look, and beaks it happens, and it, like it's it's too perfect, <laughs> right? So like um, the quill, right? The most uh, powerful weapon used in human history. Okay. The quill pen. Uh, yeah. It's, it's damned and saved millions of people. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thin, light. It's a quill. It's got to be a quill. It's got to right? be a quill. Uh, the cartridges. Uh, what are the point parts of rook? The talons. Yeah. It's got to be rook talons. Yeah. No, I can't rook name talons. it anything else. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots of bird parts right. or, or to th- choose from, right? Or the nest. You gotta get the well. You do have the nest coming out. That's you didn't bring that today. Well. You got the nest. So Every what about a beak? Anything gonna, gonna be called the beak? No. no Why? That, I don't know. Maybe. Come on, the rook beak. I can do see I, it. Is that the hair stroke machine? Yeah. Is, that, is that what we call it? No, man. I don't think that's oh, wait, quite. Now the- all of a sudden you're backing <laughs> off of it. What the yeah. heck? <laughs> Whatever's called the beak, put that in body tents. Keep that I mean, in the body tent. You were too coming industry. all hot and heavy for a second. I like, know. Yeah, well, left turn. I don't know. Do you like it? It's got a ring, right? No. The rook beak. Yeah, I don't no. know. I, I think I'm, I'm finally getting. I've run the gamut of bird names. Flight. Yeah, you know. That could be second, some. The wing. Bird wing. The second, I think I'm done with all of them. Like, yeah. I come up with an idea and I'm like, hey, it's gonna be yeah. rook, whatever. I'm like, yeah. Ah, got me. Yeah. Pecker. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> we could have fun. We could have fun. I could have really a lot of fun naming your products. But, yeah, so um, we, we got like a few more minutes, you know, before we got to wrap things up. But I yeah. did want to talk about the, the needle. There was something. New configuration. It was, a, it was a new configuration. And I don't know if they're going to be able to um, see it. I'm going to put it like in the camera. And I'll, it, it, this is a 13 mag. Yeah. And the thing that's really, and this is a brand, like you made this up. This has never before existed right. in tattooing. It's, like, it's hard to make new configurations. Yeah. Like all the good ones are taken, liners and shaders, you know? Right. They're gone. So you, you really got to They're, they're completely the gone. So when you when you look at this, um, it's it's the combination of a straight edge mag and a curved mag. So this end is a straight edge mag. And then when you get to this side, it curves. Uh, for PMU artists, I think it would be very easy to wrap your head around if I took a microblade and put yeah. it in a cartridge. Yeah. Because that's exactly what I saw and went, I want that. Yeah. What is that thing? Yeah. Oh, it's a microblade. Put it in a cartridge. For right, me. right. So th- this is already released and being used in body tech. Yeah. Body yeah. tattooing. And, so and guys what's are the. It. They are. They're loving yeah, it. It's like, uh, it's like a chisel chip paintbrush or, yeah. or like a, a marker, you know? Uh, I just love it. You got to cool work shit. a line. You know, you, right. you got the flat edge. You can get into a tight space or work right. a line. If you got to blend out, you yep. got the curved side. My, it's like the Swiss Army knife to tattoo machine. Yeah, I point. think, you know, my mentor in body tattoo, his name's Eddie Lynn. Mm-hmm. And he owns the skin factories here in town. And I got, he would love this. Like, I like I want to send him a box. I think he would. Well, let's, t- let's just take him a box. Uh, yeah. Well, he's in Hawaii now. He's, uh. in, he's in Maui. He's still got his shops here. You know, they're managed, you know, by other people. But... He, I would watch him, he would outline a body tattoo with like, you know, a 14 mag. Yeah. He would just, I mean, to me, it was, I've never tried to outline a tattoo with a mag. I never got that good. But um, I just think he would A dip. mag, uh, when, when you start outlining with mags, a mag is uh, a dangerous tool, right? Because there's a fine line Only the between professional. <laughs> shading and cutting. Yeah, no, right? for sure. So if you turn the mag completely sideways and you just try to do that with it, you're cutting at that yeah, point. Yeah. And really quickly. Yeah. But so, I would imagine, Chris, you know, I mean, you got slight angle. 11, 12, 14 needles and you're lining with it. I mean, you must be able to get those lines super blind, right? Oh, yeah. Black. 
Yeah, yeah. You just have to give it like a slight tilt. Yeah. You know, just so the, the needle pins, like if this is needle pin one, yeah. this is needle pin two, that they sit like this. Yeah. So they're not following in the track of the one before them. Right. And then you're good. Yeah. No, that's really, yeah. And microblading, that's exactly what they do. Yeah. You know, like the so 11U or, you know, I think the 11U is probably one of the popular microblading configurations. The other thing um, about your needles there's something kind of, my, my complaint always with, or I wouldn't even say it's a complaint. I've been on cartridges maybe two years now. Right. Um, I still go back to needle on the bar for my eyeliners. But um, my, I guess my little gripe is with the cartridges. If you come from needle in the bar, that's all you've known for years and years and years, and then you go to a cartridge, you notice a flutter. Yeah, a little movement with the cartridge. It's not because the needle on a bar is stiff the whole way. Stiff, yeah. and and for me that precision. You just, I, I love it, you, and I'm obsessed with it, and you can't quite get that. Right. It's just off by a nano with the, with the cartridges. Some cartridges, it's off by a lot. Some cartridges oh, are yeah. horrible, right? Oh, they yeah. just flutter and vibrate and move all over the place. But you did something, you put a, what, a, a pin at the base? So it comes, so it's a pin like any normal cartridge at the back of the Do you want to take it kind of show? Sure, yeah. So we have... Uh, your plunger that comes in, right? Yep. And then it's, it's pinned there. And then, of course, you drop it, right? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. Where'd it go? I, I, I lost it. Did you lose I it? I lost it. Oh, oh, here. I got one right here. Hey, there you go. That's all right. Hey, you know the guy that makes them. This so podcast is all organic. We can get another one, yeah. right? Woo! <laughs> there we go. So, you have uh, where it comes into the cart, pin there, right? Yep. Then it goes to your membrane. Yep. Then if you, you look, it's, it's going to be really hard to see here, but there is another collar on the inside okay. that helps stabilize that. that I took pin. it apart yeah. the other day. Oh, yeah. It, you saw that. I saw, I, saw the, I saw the pieces. Right? <laughs> yeah. So that extra stabilizing ring makes sure that the needle pins remain linear. So there's no side-to-side -side deflection or wobble, or at least I try to minimize it as much as I can, right? Yep. Uh, and then lastly, I don't know if you noticed this or not, if you look at the tip, right? Yeah. Take the tip there. It's not, it doesn't come straight out, right? It actually is sort of cut at a little angle. Okay. So it pushes up and out. Okay. Right? That keeps the needle pin down in the tip. Okay. How we tattooed with a needle on a bar. Yeah, right? right. So now you have precision. You know where your needle pins yeah. are. And because it's actually hitting and then riding up and out, it makes sure that the pin is saturated. Gotcha. So you yeah. always have ink, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I I don't... I try to make it as linear and as close to a, 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 needle a, a on traditional the bar. needle yeah. on a bar as I possibly could yeah. because... Let's circle back to the beginning. There's a reason for everything. Yeah. There's a reason these guys made cartridges this way. And this was at, a, or I'm sorry, made needle on a bar this way. And this was at a time when there was no Google. Right. There was no internet. Yeah. There was rotary phones. Right. You're not calling anybody with a rotary phone. You get to the last number, mess it up. Nah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> it took a half hour just to get there. I know so, it. <laughs> If a guy in California is making his needle on a bar the same way as a guy in Ohio is, right? Why? Yeah, because like, it works. It works yeah. now. Why does it work? Yeah. You know how how do all these people stumble across the same thing yeah. and adopt it? Yeah. Right. Without the benefit of you know the internet or anything like yeah, that. Yeah. Well, trial and error. It's just right. Make something, put it to practice. Make it better, put it to practice, make, and then you end up with needle on the bar, you yeah. know, for years and years and years. But, yeah, I, I was telling you earlier, um, I got an artist in here, and, you know, my apprentices, I brought them up needle on the bar. Right. And she she's tried lots of cartridges, and she just can't stand them. So I, I begged her, please, <laughs> to try the new rook. There's a couple of things that are different that... You know, he says, stable I'm already apart a whole box of these yeah, things. Yeah, so stabilize it, you know, just try it. And so I'm not asking you to do it on an eyeliner, just try it on an eyebrow. So Michonne, my artist Michonne. So, uh, yeah, so she was doing an eyebrow. She was doing a single needle eyebrow. So she came back and, you know, she was a little smirky and a little, you know. And, uh, yeah, she loved it. So she's like, I might ask you for another one. I'm like, really? And she's like, I might. Oh, really? <laughs> and, yeah, so she liked it. You know, well, I mean, the proof's in the pudding there. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, that's that's the best um, 
endorsement that you can hope for. Yeah, for and sure. It is that hardcore. She's hardcore bar. needle on the bar, man. You know, Maybe and she could possibly thinking about trying it a second yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. That's a win. Yeah, for me. it'll probably I'll be a while it. before we get her to that's fine. try it for the eye that's, the that's eyeliners. Fine. Yeah, I caught her in a moment. We, you, we she did. Said tried a caught her in a weak that's moment. A that's that's <laughs> it. That's it. That's all I need. I'll take it. It's a win. Great.